I have never regretted running in the afternoon so much as today. I am back at home and it's just hard every time i have like a big gap in my training it's so hard to go back into it and i really don't want to do a tempo session today because that's what i'm scheduled to do on tuesdays but i think i might switch around this whole week to try and ease back into things again so i think i'm going to try and just do an easy run today and then do my tempo session tomorrow but yeah, we'll see how it goes because I'm kind of like, uh. Happy Friday, everyone. I gotta be real with you because it has been so hard to get back on track with my training after a week of wedding festivities. Like I am just having a hard time waking up early to fit in my runs when it's cool enough. And by the time I'm up, it's super hot. We're currently in like a heat wave right now. I believe it's like 33 degrees Celsius and it's currently 5 p.m. So my schedule this week has just been getting pushed and pushed. I did manage to fit in a tempo run two days ago and that was a struggle. I have never regretted running in the afternoon so much as today it is so hot. I ran that midday and that was such a bad idea. I also did manage to fit in a strength session that same day, but like sleep has just been so bad. Even my Garmin's training status says that it's strained. I've just been feeling very off after a weekend of partying and, you know, celebrating the day. And so I've just kind of been taking it easy, but also at the same time, I want to get back on track. And I am scheduled for a speed workout today, which is intervals. I do want to go on the track, but because I didn't wake up early this morning, I'm likely going to be running later this evening, but the motivation is just so low right now. But that means I have to eat dinner early so that way I have the energy and the fuel for the run later tonight. And hopefully it's a little bit cooler. It says it's going to be around 23 to 25 degrees, which is still pretty warm. So I'm trying really hard to stay hydrated. It's just kind of been a struggle just like motivation wise um and trying to wake up earlier so hopefully i can stay on top of this for the weekend because looking at my schedule i've just been like pushing my workouts later throughout the week um and so everything is kind of cramped to this weekend so this is the first time ever i am training in the evening at 8 p.m like i've never done this ever i usually train in the morning or early afternoon and it is still 26 degrees outside and i thought there would at least be a building blocking the track but looks like there's still some full-on sun happening but you know what i'm like i gotta get this over and done with now because if i don't i won't i won't do it at all so i'm just gonna suck it up get the run in if I have to slow down, I'll slow down because of the heat. I did make sure I brought some Gatorade with me for the electrolytes and the water. And then I'm going to be running in my sports bra. I got my hat, but I failed to bring my sunnies. So hopefully the hat is okay. Got my shoes for the speed workout. It looks like there's some 400s in there. I think it's like 10 times total. Um, and then a bit of a warm up. So let's just get this over with and then hopefully I'll feel accomplished by the end of it all. Let's just hope that I don't die. I know I just ate dinner and all, but like the smell of barbecue is making me so hungry again. Currently doing my warm up. I've got two and a half K of just easy running. Intervals done and dusted. Oh my gosh, I survived that workout. I am so happy. I went around the neighborhood for the warm up and then as soon as I got to the track, it was like half covered by a building. So it was half shaded, half sun. And then as I progressed throughout the workout, the sun started to set even more behind the building. So then towards the end, it was like all shade and I was so grateful because I needed that. It actually wasn't as warm as I thought it was going to be, but probably because the sun was setting. So yeah, it all worked out in the end. 
the workout itself was pretty hard. I would say like the first 100 meters, I was like, oh, this is like not too bad. And then 200 meters to 300 meters, I'm like, oh, okay, this is kind of hard. And then I was able to push it the last 100 meters. And I did try to push harder because like the first five intervals i'm like okay that was like comfortably hard and then there was like a rest in between two sets and then the second set of intervals i was like okay i'm gonna push myself a little harder just to see how far i could take it and then yeah towards the end i was like holy crap this is really difficult but yeah overall like it went really well i don't know why i feel like intervals even though i'm like so scared of them they actually turn out to be the best i mean this is compared to tempo workout, so I don't know. We'll see how next week's tempo session goes because the last tempo session was not great. <laughs> Good morning. So I am actually scheduled to do an 8K run today, but this is supposedly the hottest day of this week and my body is feeling like not the greatest, especially just coming back from you know, all the recovery from the wedding and then just trying to ramp up with all this training. So I've decided to not do the 8K run, but instead Keen and I are actually gonna go for a ride and get some snacks. Typically an 8K run for me usually lasts about 45 to 50 minutes. I'm gonna go ride out for about an hour and a half or so to make sure that it's a little bit equivalent in terms of the effort and the distance. We'll see how today's bike ride goes because I think this is actually the first time we're going out for a ride since my 70.3 race so let's hope it all goes well. had a bit of a fail we want to go to this cafe that has like ice cream but it doesn't open until 12 and we need to be home by 12 so we're just gonna go to the next best thing in this area which is Starbucks I don't think you can say best Starbucks in the same time. yeah okay it's not the next best thing it's our last resort <laughs> yeah. July and this was in here since May. <laughs> it's ready to walk out itself. Oh look it's chewable though. So we just got back from our ride which I thought was going to take about an hour 20 an hour and a half but going back the way was a lot quicker because I guess we were riding with the wind so it ended up being just over an hour which was less than ideal but I'm still happy that I was able to go out and move especially because I didn't feel like running so I think the fact that I was able to move the legs and just kind of flush it out after last night's speed workout was, I think was really good. Now we're just gonna get ready because I think we're gonna go out to like some festival with Kean's parents and then um, hopefully this doesn't get too out of hand because I still need to be alive for tomorrow's long run. It is currently 7.40 in the morning and I'm actually struggling to stay awake but i gotta get this done before it gets hot out apparently it's currently 18 degrees i got 15k scheduled today with 6k of it at marathon effort so let's hope this goes well i was like oh am i gonna run this later this evening but i do have a dinner with my in-laws so gotta get this done now marathon effort is coming up so i'm getting ready for a gel break down time oh my goodness it was hard it was very hot 15k long run done and dusted So that wraps up week two of my marathon training. So overall, I completed most of the workouts. As you can see here, I completed seven out of the nine workouts. I did a total distance of 39 kilometers, which is just a little bit over than the target distance. Now, taking a look at the week itself, I was able to complete, I think, all of the running 
sessions except for the 8K easy run. I actually substituted that with a bike ride, um, which ended up being around 20, just over 20K, I believe. I think it was like 22 kilometers. And so I decided to just check that off with the note of it being modified. The workouts that I ended up not doing was Pilates, and then I think there was a strength workout that I missed as well. Yeah, the strength on Friday. Overall, it was hard to get back into, you know, the full-on training after being so busy the previous week, but towards the end, I was able to get back on track despite a few you know obstacles here and there um i did manage to finish the long run i think that was the workout that i wanted to make sure that i did because you know i am training for a marathon so long runs are one of the most important runs to stay on top of and i managed to do that and that long run was a little bit of a struggle because even though i went out a little bit earlier it was still really warm so trying to get used to running longer distances in warmer weather is still something i'm trying to get used to and so i really need to stay on top of the hydration the nutrition especially in this warmer weather summer training is still something i need to get used to so hopefully in the next week and all the weeks after i can stay on top of my summer training and really just trying to fine tune that routine overall because yeah, summer training isn't one of my strong suits. I'm very used to training in the fall and winter. So this is gonna be interesting. I know this week was a little bit of a hairy one. Hopefully next week is better. Don't forget that this video is going to be a part of my Road to Chicago Marathon series. And with that, I'll see you in a later video. Bye.